Hey guys, welcome to another workout session with Madame Blunt. Today's workout is a wonderful workout. You're going to enjoy every bit of it, I promise you. Warm up with me while I explain today's routine. Okay, let's start with some cat and cow stretches, okay? All right, so we're going to go on all fours on our mat. Then we start cutting and cowing. <laughs> all right, okay, so today's workout is a compilation of Pilates-based routines that will target your core muscles, help your body balance, and improve your posture and your form. We're going to be working on our obliques, very important, our abs, very important, and our entire back muscles. Let's switch, let's flip over and lie on our back. We're going to stretch out our arms a little because we're going to be using them quite a lot in today's workout. So we're having 12 exercises today. Each goes for 30 seconds and most of them would be on the mat. We'll do the first round together and then you can go for the second or even the third round on your own. All right, last stretch. Let's do some bridges, okay? Now remember, a rep with a good form is better than 10 reps with bad form. So concentrate more on your form than the reps. Very important. Okay, that's enough. Let's get started. So stretch out your legs. We're starting in a, in a face-up position. Your arms by your sides, your palms facing down. We're going to start with the leg circles. So let's start with the right leg first. So bend your left knee and place your left foot flat on the floor. Exhale and curl your head up. We start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's circle the right leg, okay? Circle while still keeping your lower back on the floor. Just your head is curled up, okay? We're going to circle for 20 seconds before reversing the circle. Don't arch your back. If curling your head is too intense, drop the head, okay? We reverse in five, four, three, two, one. All right, we stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now let's get the other side in five, four, three, two, one. Get ready to reverse. We we'll stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now let's reverse. Start in five, four, three, two, one. We we'll stop in five, four, three, two, and one. Alright, still lying face up. Our next workout is the 100. Lift both legs up towards the ceiling and lower them halfway. Now curl your head up, reaching your arms long alongside your body, palms facing down. You're going to pump your arms up and down like I'm doing right now. And you're going to inhale for five counts and exhale for five counts, okay? We start in five, four, three, two, one. Pump your arms up and down. Inhale for five counts. Exhale for five counts. You're not batting your arms, so you're stiffening your elbows. Don't bend the elbows when you're pumping your arms up and down. Try and keep your core engaged. You are almost done. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now let's roll over to our stomach. We're going for a plank leg lift. You're going to start out in a high plank with your hands directly under your shoulders. You're going to inhale and lift one leg up, but not past your shoulders height, okay? Then exhale and return the leg. Inhale, lift the other leg. Exhale and return the leg. 
you must keep your core your booty and your thighs engaged to avoid rocking your hips we start in five four three two one keep your core engaged keep your thighs squeezed your booty should be squeezed also we don't want to rock your hips okay i know it's easier said than done but if you have that in mind you will limit the way your hips rock during this movement we are almost done we stop in five four three two one okay let's roll over again to our back lots of rolling here where well, the rolling itself is a workout so our next workout is the pendulum you're going to lie face up with your arms extended to your sides bend your knees over your hip and lift your feet off the mat so when you exhale you're going to move both knees to the right okay then inhale and return to the starting position before repeating on the other side we start in five four three two let's begin You're almost done. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's turn again. Let's do some plank rocks. So we start out in a high plank with your hands directly under your shoulders. Then exhale and rock your whole body forward a couple inches towards your hand. Okay, inhale, hold for two seconds. Exhale and go backward towards your heel. Inhale again and hold again for two seconds before repeating. It's like we're going forward, backward, forward, and backward. But every time you rock, you pause in that position for two seconds before going back to the beginning position. Keep your core, your butt, your quads engaged the entire time. We start in five, four, three, two, begin. Whenever you're doing any workouts, always keep your core engaged. Very important. It will help you maintain the right posture. Unless you are using a waist trainer. If you're using a waist trainer, it's going to be doing that for you. That is if it's a firm one, if it's body fitted, okay? So keep your core engaged. We're almost done. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Whew, let's push our hips down into child's pose for a few seconds. Let's rest the hips, okay? So our next workout is the hip dip. We'll start with the right side. You're going to start in a side plank form with your right hand directly underneath your right shoulder and your left foot stacked on top of the right. If you want to modify it, you can lower your bottom knee or even place your upper foot in front of the lower leg like I'm doing right now. So when you're out in this position, all you need to do is dip your hips down to the ground and then lift them back up again. We start in five, four, three, two, one. Be careful so you don't, you're not tipping forward, you're not leaning too forward. You have to place your body in the center position, okay? Don't tip too forward, don't tip too backward. We are almost done. And do the modified one if you're tired we stop in five four three two one great let's switch to the other side set it up we start in five four three two one it's really important that your shoulder is stacked underneath Sorry, that your hand is stacked underneath your shoulder. You don't want it strained forward. You want it to be exactly underneath your shoulder, okay? Remember, you can go for the modified one. This is not a competition. Just do as your body wants, okay? We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Great. Now let's go to slow motion mountain climbers like Indian film. <laughs> we're going to do some slow motion men. Okay, so um, we're going to start in a high plank with your hands directly under your shoulders. Now exhale and bring one knee towards your chest. Then 
exhale and return the knee so when you bring when you exhale and bring the knee towards your chest you're going to inhale and hold that position for a while then you're going to exhale and return the knee and then you're going to switch let's try that again exhale bring one knee towards your chest inhale and hold then return exhaling and switch you're going to keep your core your butt your quads engaged to avoid rocking your hips as usual now you know how it is we start in five four three two one I'm giving you guys enough time to rest right yeah while explaining I know what I'm doing <laughs> We rest in five, four, three, two, one. Let's flip. One leg bridge coming up next. We're almost done. We're almost done. So lie face up with your knees bent, feet flat on the mat, and arms along your sides, palms facing down. Exhale and lift hips up the mat one vertebrae at a time towards the ceiling. Then hold this position. Extend one leg and kick it towards the ceiling with pointed toes like you're about to dance the ballet. Flex heel and lower leg to the level of your other knee. Now keep your core, your butt, and your quads engaged to avoid rocking your hips. We're going to do this for 30 seconds before we go to the next one, okay? The next leg. You start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin. Remember, point the toes to kick, flex heel to lower leg, okay? Point and kick, flex and return. We are almost done. We switch to the other side in five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch. We start in five, four, three, two, one. make sure your core is engaged we are almost done we rest in five four three two one all right let's leave the mat we're going to come to the end of your mat okay stand up and go to the end of your mat we're going to start out in a mountain pose we're going for squats then inch warm to push-ups okay so we start out in mountain pose exhale and lower body into a squat position with an overhead reach you hold for two counts and then you go back to your mountain pose hinge from the hips and walk out to a plank position hold for two counts again then lower into low plank hold for two counts before returning to the starting position now if this low plank is too intense for you you can just stay in the high plank position or you can modify it to a knee plank okay we start in five four three two one You stop in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's return to our mat for our next exercise, the double leg kicks. So lie face down with your right cheek on the mat. Place your hands on your back, one on top of the other, palms facing up. Your legs should be pressed to each other. You're going to kick both heels to the glutes three times. One, two, three. Then exhale and straighten your legs, keeping feet to the ground and your face facing forward, facing front, okay? Now clasp and extend your palms towards your feet. Lift your chest off the mat. You should feel no pressure in your low back. We're going to stay here for two seconds. Then lower our chest back to the mat. Turn our heads to the other side and repeat. We start in five, 
four, three, two, one. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise the single leg stretch. We are almost done. We're going to lie face up. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Place your hands on your shins and curl your head off the floor. Now exhale to extend one leg out. Inhale to hold. Exhale to switch to the other leg inhale to return to the starting position we start in five four three two one now keep your lower back on the floor throughout and keep your core engaged if your core is engaged your lower back will be on the floor which is very important this is our second to the last exercise well in fact this is like a stretch okay so enjoy it smile baby smile <laughs> We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now our last exercise, the saw. Start out in a seated position. Open your legs a little wider than your mat. Now open your arms out in a T position, the letter T. You're going to exhale and gently twist to your left. Reach for your pinky toe and mind cutting it off as if you want to cut off your pinky toe with your pinky finger. Now your back palm is gently turned up and your head is either looking at the upturned palm or the pinky down, okay? Now straighten back up and switch to the other side. Try to keep your hips leveled as you twist from side to side. Let your upper body do the movement. We start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If your pinky finger can't get to your pinky toe, just leave it at your shin or your leg, anywhere it gets to leave it there, okay? We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now this is the end of round one. If you want to go for round two, you can rest for 30 seconds and then repeat everything. If this is the end of your workout, then thanks for joining me today. Please don't leave without subscribing. Let's do this again very soon. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.